So, without further ado, we have a special guest tonight. Yeah. You all know her. There's no introduction needed. <laughs> she made a very viral video about what's going on in Baltimore City, which the Democrats won't tell you, which currently Congressman Rafume will not tell you, and it went viral. And we've seen her on TV, she's been on Fox News, Fox Business, she's been on all the media outlets in town, and we're very fortunate to have her tonight. Um, may I introduce Republican nominee for Congress in the 7th District, Kim Closer. <laughs> from experience, 
and no one actually did their research on CNN or MSNBC to see where any of these words came from. They just immediately attacked Trump and said he was being racist. Now these are the same neighborhoods where we saw Mayor Pugh walk through saying she could smell the dead rats. This is the same neighborhood that we saw Senator Bernie Sanders come to and say this looks like a third world country. But as soon as President Trump points out the facts, that it's racist, that it's wrong. But remember, this is the same area that they've been to and they walk away and they don't look back. Right? We saw Al Sharpton, lots of people come to the neighborhood for the 2015 riots. Right. As soon as the cameras left, he left. Mm. They all left. And no one said a word. Yeah. Right? So I do appreciate people like Chris Anderson. Thank you so much for running. I do think he has a really great shot. Um, I don't even know who his opponent is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who his opponent is. Um, but I think Chris has been out on the ground. Right, he's been out on the ground, he talks to people, he meets people, he's out there every single day, um, just letting them know that, that there is an option. And that is right. something that I talked about in my RNC convention speech. That's why it's so great that we have so many Republicans running, especially within the city. You know, the GOP has written off the inner cities all over this country because they believe black people will always vote Democrat. And we are proving now that they are wrong, number one, yeah. and number two, that we can step up and run for office. Yeah, and that's, that's right. a big deal. Yeah, so no yeah. matter what happens here, we already won. Yeah. We yeah. Already won. Yeah. And I think that you know, being the pioneers in this situation, there are going to be more people to follow. Yeah. And this is how we're going to get Baltimore and the surrounding areas back to that conservative lifestyle, to the conservative values. A lot of black people grow up in the church and don't yeah. even realize that they are actually conservatives. Yeah. But I'm glad that we have people like Chris Anderson, Eugene, Giovanni, Michelle, yes. to talk about, look, you we can be Republicans. That doesn't mean you're an Uncle Tom or a coon. And I must say, <clears throat> don't forget that MLK Jr. was also called an Uncle Tom. And, yeah. Over, yeah. and now he is celebrated. Yeah. Now he is celebrated. So sometimes you'll take a couple blows and some hits, but at the end of the day, you know you're fighting for the right thing. And I want to thank you, Chris, for fighting for the right thing. Thank you.